From eight days to 80 days, that's how long the Starliner crew was stuck on the ISS, marking a devastating failure for Boeing. Aside from a single slide showing the tests they conducted to investigate the cause of Starliner's issues, Boeing has remained completely silent, offering no statements or updates whatsoever. It seems they even don't have answers to these problems themselves. This raises serious questions about the future of the Starliner program. What do NASA and Boeing plan to do with Starliner? Where is this program headed? Let's find out in today's episode. Boeing's Starliner project has turned into a heavy failure, dealing a severe blow to the company's reputation in the aerospace industry. Never before has Boeing faced such an intense wave of public criticism. The series of mishaps and delays have severely shaken confidence in Boeing's capabilities. No matter what, Starliner must leave the ISS by mid-September. The reason? The spacecraft can only remain docked at the station for around 90 days due to the limitations of the crew module's batteries. Plus, it needs to vacate the docking port for incoming missions, especially the upcoming Crew-9 mission. Starliner's extended stay on the ISS has already caused a traffic jam in space, seriously affecting the schedules of other missions. As for the crew's return, NASA is now facing a tough decision. Will Butch and Sunni return on the same spacecraft that brought them to the ISS, or will they come back on a Dragon? According to the latest announcement, the agency will make a decision as early as this Saturday. So, facing the current reality, where does the future of the Starliner program stand? Let me tell you this. At this point, NASA has no reason to abandon Starliner. The main reason is that Boeing is under a fixed-price contract with NASA. This means NASA only pays a pre-agreed amount, and Boeing is obligated to meet the contract's requirement, no matter how much the actual costs exceed expectation. Additionally, NASA's strategy involves maintaining two independent transportation systems to ensure redundancy and flexibility for space missions. Having two providers, Boeing and SpaceX, helps NASA avoid relying on just one company while also fostering healthy competition in the commercial space industry. Here's the point. In a recent announcement, NASA revealed that Administrator Bill Nelson and senior leadership will hold an internal agency test flight readiness review on Saturday, August 24, for NASA's Boeing crew flight test. They'll be certifying the rationale for conducting undocking and return from the space station, phrasing that carries intriguing undertones, different from NASA's typically neutral language in the past. This strongly implies that NASA has never ruled out the possibility of returning the astronauts aboard Starliner, and they're actively working on this option. Clearly, NASA is still eager for Starliner to succeed. However, this is an extreme extraordinarily risky gamble. If NASA decides to endorse this option and allows astronauts Wilmore and Williams to return on Starliner, the agency will be accepting an immeasurable level of risk. A severe failure during re-entry, especially if the astronauts' lives are endangered, would create immense pressure on NASA leadership to terminate the contract and remove Boeing from the program altogether. In this worst-case scenario, Boeing's reputation in the aerospace industry could be completely shattered. But what about the best-case scenario? If Starliner successfully brings the two astronauts back safely, Boeing's reputation might be salvaged just a little. But listen, even if the crew capsule returns intact, the thrusters will be destroyed along with the service module, the non-reusable part of the spacecraft. This means that regardless of the outcome, Boeing won't have the chance to inspect the thrusters after they've operated in space. Essentially, the company might never fully understand the root causes of the issues or the true performance of these thrusters. This presents a significant obstacle to improving and ensuring the safety safety of future missions. Now let's take a step back and consider the broader picture of the Starliner project. Boeing has built three Starliner prototypes, but only two remain operational. One completed the uncrewed OFT-2 mission, and the other is currently docked at the International Space Station, ISS. It's crucial to note that these two spacecraft are essentially identical. Of course, they haven't yet been certified for crewed missions. When a spacecraft repeatedly faces the same issues and the company can't pinpoint the root cause, we're no longer talking about glitches. This is a fundamental design flaw. For Boeing to continue fulfilling its contract with NASA, they might need to build an entirely new spacecraft with significant upgrades over the current design. Moreover, Boeing's original plan was to have two spacecraft rotating for mission, which means they could be looking at building two entirely new vehicles. This isn't just a technical challenge. It's a massive financial burden for the company. At Boeing's current pace of development and testing, it feels like this could take an eternity. The Starliner program has already turned into a financial black hole for Boeing. 
despite not having completed a single crewed mission. The company has already lost nearly $2 billion on this project. On top of that, Boeing is under immense pressure to meet deadlines. If they continue with the program, they need to complete six crewed flights to the International Space Station, as per their agreement with NASA. At this rate, the ISS might have to extend its operational lifespan just to give Boeing enough time to fulfill its launch commitments. It seems like NASA has less incentive to cancel the Starliner program than Boeing does. Boeing might never see a return on investment from Starliner. In fact, the financial strain of this project has driven Boeing to swear off fixed-price contracts in the future. Given the current situation, Boeing might seriously be considering pulling the plug on this program. They could opt to pay penalties and cancel the contract to cut their losses. It's a tough call, but it might be necessary to stop the financial bleeding. The possibility of Boeing pulling out of the Starliner program isn't entirely far-fetched. Back in January 2020, Boeing made the surprising decision to withdraw from the experimental space plane, XSP program run by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. This decision sent shockwaves through the aerospace community. The XSP program aimed to revolutionize space access by developing a reusable vehicle capable of launching satellites frequently and cost-effectively. Boeing was expected to lead this groundbreaking effort with its hypersonic vehicle concept, the Phantom Express. But, true to its name, the Phantom Express never materialized into a physical reality. The official reason for Boeing's withdrawal was an inability to agree on technical requirements and cost overruns with DARPA. At the time, the company announced it would refocus its efforts on air, sea, and space-related fields. This decision led to the cancellation of DARPA's XS-1 program altogether, marking a significant blow to the agency. The XS-1 was anticipated to be a game-changer, enhancing national space access and drastically reducing satellite launch costs. What's most striking and controversial about this situation is that Boeing retained all milestone payments they received from DARPA. Given that the contract was not fixed price, DARPA didn't pursue any refund. This has raised significant questions about financial accountability and fairness in defense contracts, especially when considering the project's disappointing outcome. In fact, there's another striking example in the space industry. Remember Collins? In 2022, NASA awarded Collins Aerospace a fixed-price contract as part of a $3.5 billion deal to develop new extravehicular activity, EVA, suits for space missions. However, due to delays and cost overruns, Collins Aerospace decided to withdraw from the contract. This unexpected decision sent shockwaves through NASA, leaving the agency in a difficult position. Yet, there's a crucial difference between these two scenarios. In the case of the EVA suits, when Collins Aerospace backed out, the remaining contractor, Axiom Space, had also not completed the development of the spacesuits as per their NASA contract. This left NASA scrambling for an immediate solution. On the flip side, in the realm of crew transportation, NASA has a reliable alternative, SpaceX's Dragon. Over the past four years, SpaceX has proven its reliability and efficiency in transporting astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS. This means that if Boeing decides to pull out, NASA won't be left without a viable crew transport solution. Moreover, the prospect of SpaceX having a monopoly in this field might not be as dire as some fear. There's a promising contender in development, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. While Dream Chaser is currently designed for cargo missions, Sierra Space is also working on a crewed variant, expected to debut around early 2026. If the Starliner program continues, it's likely that Starliner next crewed flight will happen around the same time. Sierra Space, though a rising star in the industry, could face significant challenges in building trust and credibility, especially when compared to established names like Boeing. But let's not forget that when NASA's commercial crew program launched, Boeing capitalized on its long-standing reputation and close ties with the space agency. Boeing's deep involvement in major projects like Apollo and the Space Shuttle program created a clear bias. Consequently, Boeing secured a $4.2 billion contract, far surpassing the $2.6 billion funding awarded to its competitors. Editor, SpaceX, and history has shown that new players can rise strongly and set the standard for space transportation. SpaceX has become the sole American-made vehicle for sending astronauts to the ISS. So, what do you think? Does Sierra Space deserve a chance? And how should NASA decide the future of the Starliner program? Comment below. All right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth looks at the latest advancements in space technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.